you know, always fun this little initial like jog through the park, I guess. <laughs> Good morning from Animal Kingdom. We are making our way through the park. After entering the gate, we got here about 7.05. Now we're uh, making our way over to uh, Avatar, see how if we can uh, rope drop it correctly this time. Always gotta love the Tree of Life reveal. Ah, how nice. One of the advantages of being very, very tall is the fact that I can take big steps. Um, and as you can see, the crowd in front of us has kind of thinned out. As long as you can kind of fight that crowd up the initial walkway and not let anybody like push you around, you can stay pretty much at the front of the group. So that's my little getting to flight of passage tip. Just kind of stand your ground and uh, don't be a jerk, but don't let people push you around either. And like that, we have basically gotten herded into the space that we need to be in to get on Flight of Passage as some of the first people on it. This land really is something else. Joe Rohde outdid himself. He will be missed. The nice thing is, is that we're not going down that bridge, which is what happened to us the last time we tried to do this and we got here a little later than we were expecting. This line is tolerable. Agreed? <laughs> By the way, check out Michelle's awesome ears. I love these. <laughs> I love those ears. Those ears are really cute. Again, this land is themed so perfectly. Even if you're not a fan of the movies, you should love the theming in this land. And of course, we have to say good morning to Hank in the tank. Good morning, Hank. This is the initial loading area. You can see like the green doors and the red doors and you saw the blinking green door kind of gives the cast members indication of which doors are gonna open next. But uh, this is how they do the initial loading for Flight of Passage. Once the link takes place, you'll be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ekron. It'll feel like you're really there. Sivak Hope, rise to the challenge. Still absolutely one of the best rides in Disney World. Absolutely one of the best rides in Disney World. Michelle, you agree? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, it's just, the theming is great, the video is great. Like, everything about it is great. You can't say anything in that ride is bad. Uh, Michelle did say, however, that her Ekron was only breathing on one side, so apparently it had a bad lung. <laughs> uh, but, uh, see a yeah, probably should, should probably go see a doctor. But we love that ride, and uh, it is not even eight o'clock yet. Coffee crisis soon to be averted. We are in creature comforts. Um, and then our plan is to uh, head over to Kilimanjaro Safaris because the animals are the most active in the morning. So that's, you know, we're just trying to do that. And we also want to see Festival of the Lion King today. We don't have a huge plan for today. It is our last day in Animal Kingdom, but just some things we want to hit um, that we didn't get last time. So Michelle and I just experienced something we've never experienced before. Just kind of found a spot here in Africa to sit and wait, and that door right there just had a sound effect of someone knocking and pounding on it, and then you heard someone on the other side kind of talking. That was new. I've never noticed that here and before. Of course I can't, I'm not gonna catch it again because it's probably random, but yeah, that door just, that door right there just had a sound effect go off. So you really gotta pay attention to the extra little details that they've added into this park. It's uh, pretty awesome. I, I was I was impressed. I was just like, hold on, that there's a insignificant sound that just adds to the ambiance of this of this park. So awesome. One of the perils 
of getting on the safari is that sometimes the animals will get in the road and the drivers are not allowed to like startle or scare or honk at or anything they have to just wait we've been standing here waiting for trucks for a while they just started coming past again which means there was definitely an animal on the road bunching up the safari so we're moving again but that's one thing you have to pay attention to is that this is this ride is at the mercy of the animals on the savannah So we just got off uh, the safari. We're heading our way back into Harambe Village. I don't know how it happened. It's, it's an interesting statistical improbability. But we came here last September and only went one day to uh, the Animal Kingdom and we got Justin, the tour guide. We were here last week on Friday and we got Justin, the tour guide. And then we just did it today, and we got Justin, the tour guide. We have no idea how on earth we got the same tour guide three times in a row. That is like a statistical improbability. Other than that, man, uh, thanks for being our driver three times. I have no idea how we pulled that off at all. All right, for our next adventure here in Animal Kingdom, we're going to be going to Gorilla Falls. A lot of fun. We like these trails. They're a good way to... Uh, see the wildlife right away and you enter in you have this lovely enclosure where you can see some colobus monkeys and the colobus monkeys are kind of chilling out up there on top of their enclosure and they're very cute some of them are a little active we got one right there as being a little active some fun times here with the colobus monkeys right as you enter into the uh falls so these are naked mole rats. Naked mole rats are very useful in, they're doing a lot of studies in science. They're actually apparently uh, unable to get cancer at all. And so they're studying them for that purpose mainly. But I just found out from the cast member that the oldest mole rat in this enclosure is 20 years old. That's pretty impressive. Hey there, buddy. Just hanging out. Nice to see you. I always love this tank right inside the burn sanctuary. It's just to the left. We can see the waterfall in the background. I just love the fact they have all these colors right against the glass there all the time. It's such a pretty little thing in the bird sanctuary. Lots of birds today. Seem to be uh, in very chirpy moods because it's not too hot. Got all our nest builders over here. There we go, there's one building a nest right there. You can see the tail kind of sticking out. You look out there, you have a hippo. Um, and there's one moving around in the water, but it's kind of hard to see, it's a little murky, um, which kind of happens from hippos. There's one moving around out there, and I don't know, oh, here it comes. Hello there. Thanks for walking right by. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I have all these fish, like, 
picking at it on the back, you know, just trying to clean it off, kind of help each other out. Symbiotic relationship. Just kind of tucking into the corner here and all the fish are following it around. The guide just told us that these are Western lowland gorillas. And there's a family of seven in here. You can see them kind of chilling out there. I actually just heard the guide tell uh, somebody who tried to wave at the gorillas that waving at the gorillas actually tells them, be careful. Actually, a correction. I misunderstood what she said. Uh, she was telling her to be careful because waving your hand is like beating your chest and it's a sign of challenge to the gorillas. And there is a large male back there. So yeah, don't wave at the gorillas. Up there, if you look carefully, you'll see a gorilla and its baby. I just went behind the stone. So here's one of our silverback males, just sitting and chilling, enjoying his breakfast. One of the things you can do at the register when you buy merchandise is you can pay for the Disney Conservation Fund and they'll basically ask you if you want to donate. You say yes and then you get this great pin for helping the Conservation Fund, but they do it at all registers um, in the gift stores in Animal Kingdom. And I think that's a pretty awesome thing that you can do to help the animals. In conjunction with those pins, you also have these collectible pins that you can buy for $12.99 that benefit the animals as well. They also go to the Disney Conservation Fund. So there's another little collectible piece for you if you're looking to help even more. So as you can see behind me, that is the Kilimanjaro Safari Line. So we're already past Tusker House. We basically, basically walked on it. Um, without that little pause. See, there's the end of the line cast member right there, end of the line cast member right there. We basically walked on it. Yeah, there was a delay because of the animals, but that, so I still don't, I don't really count that hold. But yeah, that's why you go straight from your first ride of the morning, which we think is, should be Flight of Passage, right over to the Kilimanjaro Safaris. Because if you don't do that, that's what you get. And also you get more active animals. So, early morning, go, uh, my, my suggestion, my one-two punch, as I like to call it, number one, Flight of Passage, number two, Kilimanjaro Safaris, get there relatively quickly, too. Make sure you are paying attention because there's these really cool little photo spots all over Animal Kingdom that are outside of the Tree of Life, and I just recommend doing it. And also, make sure you ask for magic. Uh, this one's right near Pizza Fari and the crossroads there, um, but it's just a good place to get your picture taken, and we like to make sure we get these. And make sure you ask the cast member for some magic. Uh, backing up what I just said about the photo pass, you see there's all these people here taking pictures of the Tree of Life, and that's awesome, but as you can see, they have long lines. Even though the crowds are really light today here in the park, but they always have long lines. And there's other spots where you can get a much more fun picture. I mean, this is the iconic one, you have to get it, but make sure you look for the other spots too. One little tip I actually have for you is Discovery Trading Company and Island Mercantile, which is over there to my right. These two stores actually have a really excellent selection of merchandise. If you're looking for something, even if it's not from Animal Kingdom, you can probably find it here, but they also, um, have a lot of stuff that I just don't find. Like I have this great Walt Disney World Company baseball jersey and I picked it up here at the Island Mercantile. Just check out these two stores. They're really, really awesome in their merchandise selection. Continuing on our leisurely trek through Animal Kingdom, we are here at Dinosaur um, and we are uh, looking at a 15 minute wait, but Dinosaur is a lot of fun. Definitely not for little kids. Um, it can be super scary and it's a little bumpy and uh, it's using the same track vehicle and ride system as Indiana Jones in Disneyland. I have to say, I don't know if Michelle agrees with me, but Indiana Jones I think is better. Uh, I like the theming a little bit better. I love Dinosaur, don't get me wrong, but I think Indiana Jones is that much better. Michelle? Agreed. Agreed? Yeah, so we both feel the same way about it. Um, so we're about to get on Dinosaur and uh, enjoy our time with uh, Dr. Seeker. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll. Styracosaurus. Not our duck.
Well, I learned something about the last row outside corner. The last row outside corner whips you around like no one's business. I have not been thrown around in that ride like that ever. Um, I'm like, oh my goodness. It was, I was being, I was being like tossed about. Yeah, so watch out for that corner. Literally was being thrown around that back corner of the, uh, of the ride. Uh, that was crazy, but it was fun. I always liked that ride, but that back left, that back, it was the back right corner. Yeah, back right corner. Yeah, oh my goodness. It's thrown around everywhere. One of my rules is always look up when you're in Disney World because they often do excellent theming by when you look up. And this is Chester and Hester's gift store. And the theming around this ceiling with all the like the dinosaur toys and the old movie posters like the Land of the Unknown and you know all kinds of awesome little things. It's just an awesome little feature of this gift store, but you have to look up. I'm gonna pick up these pins here. I love Chippendale, and I think personally that Chippendale merchandise is very underrepresented in the parks. I really wish we could get some more. I know they're not the most popular of characters, but can we get some more Chippendale merchandise, please? One other quick piece of merchandise that I just found I haven't seen before is this handheld mirror. It's actually the Beauty and the Beast mirror. I've never seen this before. This is a cool new little piece. It's running $29.99. That's actually a really good price for a handheld mirror, especially with this kind of theming. That is really awesome. So uh, check that one out. That's definitely new. I've never seen that one before. So we stopped at Flame Tree Barbecue. That's Michelle's. That's the uh, pulled pork macaroni and cheese. This is mine, this is the rib and chicken combo. It comes with baked beans and coleslaw. And Michelle got the rotten apple, which is fireball whiskey and cider, and apple cider, and I got the safari amber. And this is the Father's Day cupcake. Um, a really cool little thing that they added for Father's Day that they're still offering today. So this is that Father's Day cupcake. It is a vanilla cupcake with buttercream icing, but it's got a cookie dough filling in the middle. I'm gonna show you that shortly. I will say that I tried to cut it in half. It literally collapsed as I was cutting it. Um, you can see the cookie dough filling. Michelle's already made the observation. It doesn't have a lot in it, but it does have it, and um, it actually tastes pretty good. I got some on my fingers, so it tastes really good. The cake itself, itself is just standard uh, cake. Flame Tree Barbecue has uh, really good food. Um, the, the ribs are a little on the dry side, but you can tell that they were well smoked, and they do still fall off the bone. Um, the chicken was super moist, and I liked the seasoning that they put on it. Um, Michelle said that the Macaroni and cheese, pull part macaroni and cheese were amazing and filling. So that's all work and the cake tastes great even though I butchered it. Um, oh yeah, and we forgot to mention. Gummy worms. <laughs> at the bottom of her rotten apple are gummy worms and I have to say that um, the Safari Amber is another one of those exclusive Disney beers. I like it, it's malty, um, has a good finish. It's a little bit slightly hoppy but not too bad. It's a really good amber ale, and this whole meal is excellent, so uh, we're really glad to have eaten here at Flame Tree Barbecue. The one thing I did is I tried the uh, macaroni and cheese. Um, it was my first time trying it. That's actually really good macaroni and cheese. It's not just the pulled pork that's good. The macaroni and cheese is excellent. It's got a good creamy cheese on it. So all in all, an excellent meal here at Flame Tree Barbecue, and it's the perfect spot to see characters uh, on the flotillas right now. They float right by on the river, um, and I'll make sure to insert some of those right there. It's really fun. And here comes Pocahontas and Nico. Like I said, we're gonna get a lot of these flotillas going right past where we're eating it. And right past our spot come Donald, Daisy, and Launchpad. Hi, Donald! Hi, Daisy, hi, Launchpad! Hi, 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 Pluto! Hi, Mickey, hi, Minnie, hi, Pluto! Here's my boys, Chippendale, in their dinosaur outfits. Chippendale, I love you! <laughs> Woo! Look great, Goofy! We also have the, uh, the drummers out on their flotilla too. Nice little double up here, but, oh man, I'm so happy to see Chippendale and Goofy. For just a little bit of wayfinding, 
down these steps here in the Flame True Barbecue sitting area is where we were seated. We're seated in that little pavilion over there. We caught all those flotillas um, from that spot. So that was a really good spot to watch all those flotillas go by. We saw pretty much everybody. I actually think we saw everybody, which is pretty cool. I just want to point out that if you don't know about the story of Expedition Everest, that it's supposed to be about this company that comes in and decides that they're gonna take over this old tea train that used to run up the mountain and the locals have stopped because a lot of attacks have happened because of a Yeti and they just kind of ignore it and throw this sign right over top, calling it Expedition Everest, Legend of the Forbidden Mountain, when underneath that sign it actually says, stay away from the mountain because of the Yeti. I think that's pretty good theming. fun. Disco Yeti is the most, it's so much fun. Uh, didn't get to see Bird on a stick this time, but we still love this ride. We just got super lucky. We're getting into the Lion King Theater, literally the time the show's supposed to start. We got held up in that line for Everest, and this is the last showing before like three o'clock. So we just booked it from Everest all the way over here and just barely made it in the line to see the show. So that's, that's a plus for us. lighting. We just got to see the Festival of the Lion King. We're in the back corner of the theater uh, waiting to get out. Love that show. I do miss the monkey tumblers and the trapeze act, but in general it was it was fun. There was excellent singing. Yeah. Amazing singing. That just just fantastic understanding of their of their vocal ranges and just yeah. Just this music teacher is very pleased with those performances. Michelle, yeah. She's smiling and yeah. They made up for the fun stuff that's Right oh yeah, they definitely made up for the fun stuff that's missing. But Festival of Lion King, oh, sorry, celebration of the Festival of Lion King, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, glad we got to catch that, even though we had to like basically run here to get it. Love you, Pumba. That's the Lion's Fury. Um, I decided to try the specialty drink for today. It's got red stag cherry whiskey and fireball, a fireball floater, and then it's got like a jungle juice base. It can come with a glow cube for three dollars more, but we opted out of the glow cube. But uh, this looks really tasty, and I'm a big fan of whiskey drinks. Hi, right, folks. Uh, we're working our way out the gates. Uh, we had a great day in Animal Kingdom. This is our last park reservation here for this trip, and uh, we had a great day. We got to see every. Now we've been able to see everything in Animal Kingdom that we are. Uh, Hope that we wanted to see. The Lion King, Festival of the Lion King was fun. 
But yeah, it's been a great time in Animal Kingdom. Unfortunately, it is our last day there. Just remember, if you liked the video, uh, to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you could hit the subscribe button, it really does help out the channel. Yeah, we've had a great day. It's been fun. Thanks for joining us. And like I always say, and I like to say goodbye, because I'm going to see you real soon. So, see you, bye. Thank you.